Well, hello, and welcome to Tom Q's Tech Tips and my continu continuing saga of trying to perfect a workflow that works for my conferences on a very fairly low budget. Um, some of you will remember uh, my review of this microphone right here, which is the Samson Stage. Let's see if I can pull this up a little bit better. The Samson Stage XPD1 USB digital wireless system. Uh, so I did a complete review of this, um, and before before I um, actually took this to the conference, well, so I think they show on this box or actually the back of this box here. I was originally planning to use this system with the USB plugged into my computer or through a through a USB hub, and um, and I changed my mind. I actually uh, I actually went back to the drawing board and I purchased what you're seeing over here which I think I can pull the, the microphone down a little bit this is this is a uh, a speaker system so it it's it's actually got a, a a very nice speaker that I'm hooked up to right now um, that is wireless uh, it can be wireless it can record up to 20 out or it can play up to 20 hours without being plugged in. Um, and it's got a very interesting setup on the back of it where you've got four channels, four channels of audio. So um, you can see that I purchased what they call the Samson Expedition XP106. It's also available in a version called the Samson Expedition XP106W that includes this microphone. So I believe you can buy that for $299. I purchased the one that's fifty dollars less. I don't think you can get it without a microphone at all. But so I purchased it with this microphone that's an, got an XLR connection with a with a cord on both ends. So not wireless, but I already had the wireless microphone that I think I paid seventy nine dollars for. So um, so anyway, it was two forty nine for the version of the speaker that came with this wired one so now i have um, two microphones that can plug in to the unit simultaneously and um and i've used the i've used the scenario already in in the conferences where i did this and um so anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna switch cameras i don't have a switcher yet so i'm gonna use, i'm just using the switch the uh, software switcher that's inside um the Google Hangout or YouTube Live interface, which is not really designed to be a switcher. It's just uh, the control where you choose your camera. So uh, it will probably uh, distort the audio a little bit when I do this. All right, so I'm switching to, this is the, uh, I'm using the um, Logitech C920 for, to show you this view. These are the four channels that are included with the, this, this speaker system right here. So this is the back of the speaker. Um, right here is the power, which I believe I could go ahead and unplug that. So uh, now we're running on on battery. Hopefully, uh, yeah, it looks like I can see from the lights on YouTube that I'm still getting a sound for you guys. So, um, but anyway, up at the top, this is where I plug in the microphone that came with this particular this particular set. Um, Right here is the wireless receiver that that I got with the X, the Samson Stage XPD1 that would have come with with the speaker system if you buy the Expedition 106W. So anyway, this just plugs right into this USB port. Um, the second channel right here, this is for plugging in an iPhone or an iPod or basically anything that has the eighth inch out. You can you can plug that line in here. You've got a quarter inch that you can plug in here. Uh, they're saying looks like you can plug instruments into that as well. I have found that this port right here, at least on my unit, is extremely loose. So if if I'm going to be using this, and I'm I've actually experimented with using, um, there's the little uh, Audio Technica, um lapel microphone that some of you have you know some of you use for uh these types of broadcasts i have tried plugging this into this port right here 
and, or or this one, but it's extremely loose in there and just touching it a little bit cause can cause some distortion or just pulling on it a little bit. So so anyway, I've discovered that I can plug the third microphone into either one of these two ports and it seems to work. Um, and then finally, and what I'm really experimenting with in this video is this right here. So this is this is line out. And so it's on the same channel as as the wireless receiver. So I can't tweak the vo I can't tweak the volume of this very much, or else it's going to affect what you guys are hearing. Even when I'm even if I wasn't using this microphone right here. Um, so anyway, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my XLR microphone. And um, so what I'm doing is I'm running a line out here, and it's going into my my zoom let's see if i can there we go the zoom h2 which i've had this this is my this was one of my first purchases of good equipment and i have really got my money's worth out of this i can't really get the uh the logitech to focus on this but normally when i'm using the zoom i am using these built-in mics right here so uh, it's got uh, 120 degrees on the back, 90 degrees on the front. It's an excellent little microphone. It's also a recorder, so you can pop a US uh, SD card. I think I could be recording what's going on right now, what you're hearing. I think I could be recording what's coming into this Zoom uh, Zoom box uh, by pressing this button if I had an SD card in the bottom. So uh, anyway. They don't actually make this model anymore, but they've got you know better ones that you can get in the same price range of what I paid for this. So this is hooked up to my computer using this USB cord right here. This is the cord right here. It's a line in. So um, you know the newer the newer ones have multiple lines in the H4s and H5s and and things like that. So excuse me, I'm having to do this kind of backwards. So uh, I've got. This is the line that is plugged in to this line out right here. And so the Zoom H2 is basically being used as an audio interface. So let me just, uh, just for anybody that hasn't watched the, all these videos, there's one more, one more channel down here where you can actually use this as a Bluetooth speaker. And I've tried that, it works very well. We've actually used, used it around the house. There's up on the top here, which you can't see. Actually, let's see. I can probably move the camera up a little bit. Um, this is where you start having the Bluetooth uh, look for look for pairing and so forth. Oops, I just broke my uh, my Logitech camera. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras back to me. And so. Um, Anything else I need to show you on the back here? I can't think of anything at the moment. Um, all right, so anyway, I can now take this microphone, which is wireless. I have had it in this mic stand right here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this one on, and I can have these even fairly close since they're, oops, you know what, this, each channel has to be turned up individually. So I haven't turned this one up. I'm going to reach over and now this now this microphone is live. Since these are not condenser mics, there's no interference here. Um, so I can have these very close, but wouldn't, wouldn't need to do that. But anyway, I've got both, both microphones live at the same time. And uh, so anyway, it's that's that's what this test is about this is um this is me using this pa system which is helping the people in the room hear the quieter speakers and second of all it's capturing the sound for my online audience so we usually you know we we do we're trying to do live streams so trying to get decent audio so that those out there uh can hear now, up until this point, we've been able to get capture the main speaker great using the little Samson Go mic hooked up to the USB port on my Mac. 
but as soon as I switch to this microphone right here, then what was happening was the Samson Go mic was left to try to pick up the sound from the PA system. And it sort of worked. I mean, if you you could kind of hear what's what people were saying, but it's just it just was there's not a crispness to it. It's not it it just really wasn't good audio. I mean, it was better than leaving it up to this microphone to just pick people pick up people talking from 30 feet 30 feet away without any amplification but it just wasn't super good I actually got a few comments about it this well this this time and so uh it just occurred to me that with this line out this might actually work so uh, i don't know if you guys noticed it but um excuse me i just set the other microphone down but this is actually just capturing one channel. And I'm not sure exactly, you can see right up here at the top, that left channel is what's being sent out from the Samson Expedition 106, uh, XP-106. So I'm not sure exactly what to do about that. Um, that's gonna work okay for the YouTube broadcast because I, li I listened to a couple of tests that I did a little bit earlier and sound is coming into both ears from that broadcast um, but I'm I'm sure that if I take this one step further and route the audio into uh, something where I record the video video switching and audio into one you know into one recorded uh, mix that we're just going to have the left channel there so uh, if you've got any ideas on what to do there you can leave leave those in the comments. But anyway, I am very pleased with the purchase of the X Samson Expedition XP-106. And even more pleased now that I've discovered that I can actually capture the sound that's coming through the PA system into the live stream directly without having some other microphone like this one trying to pick up what the PA system is, is sending out. So, so anyway, Samson X Expedition XB106. Bought that with my own money, and um, or we we should rather say the Lord's money. So I'm trying to be a good steward of 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 that. Um, nobody is paying for this review or anything like that. That's the point of me saying that. Um, it's been a good purchase. Used it two years in conference situations, and it's been great for the audience in the room. The mic, these microphones have worked very well, and it's made the uh, the live stream where questions are happening from the audience. It's made it tolerable, but I think with this little tip, with the with the line out going into the uh, Samson H2, which I've been using as backup recording these last couple of years, haven't actually used the audio from this at all. So um, anyway, I but I'll probably be recording in the future as well but now i'm actually using it as an audio interface so so anyway and by the way um one last little thing i have been using my iphone for recording this video and i'm using a uh, an app called filmic pro and of course running that through the uh many of you have seen the review that i've that i've done of the of the black magic design ultra studio mini recorder I'm using the uh, Lightning to HD adapter out of the iPhone um, into this, into the computer. And um, the uh, Filmic app has, it's the only app that I know of that has the option where you can turn off, let me just uh, reach over here and touch. Normally when you're using an iPhone, you're going to see the controls of the, of the interface that you're using to record if you're using that, that uh, that it, the lightning to HDMI out. Um, so this is the only system that I know of where you can turn off those controls. And, and so, so anyway, that's what I've been using for this, uh, for this broadcast. I've been using that as my camera rather than the, uh, the Logitech C920, which I had aimed towards the back of the, uh, the Samson. So just wanted to pass off that little tip in case if y'all, y'all been, looking for some way to use your iPhone as basically as a webcam, try Filmic Pro. 
Uh, so anyway, that's all I've got for you today. This is Tom with Tom Q's Tech Tips. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.